All right, guys, you are in for a treat. We are uh, we're nearing actually launching your website, and that's that's cool because once you get out there, once you get on the web, you'll feel a lot better about what you're doing and the you know the strenuous learning that it takes a little bit to uh, get going. But uh, today, what I want to show you is uh, you know a simple way you know. Uh, depending on your web hosting but a simple way to actually launch those platforms that you want to do um, so we're gonna we're gonna get some basic platforms um, we're gonna start with WordPress because that's uh, you know it's a leading industry of blogger you know you can create pages you can create static web pages um, it all around it's, it's a pretty good platform but then there's also other things that I'll show you and uh, you know the next tutorial what I want to show you is the manual way to do it so I'm going to show you an automated, a very simple way to install those platforms, but then also go into the manual way so you can so you understand both sides and how to edit, how to how to modify those if you ever have problems. So where I'm at right now, I'm actually at our hosting company, Bluehost, and uh, Bluehost does a great job of bringing everything together so you can you can quickly adjust things on the fly. So what we're going to look at here is what they call as simple scripts. A lot of other companies have these. Uh, basically, it's a simple solution that you can pull script in, um, put it on your website, host it, and then uh, go and edit it later in the detail in the background. So right here, we've got simple scripts. I'm um, gonna go ahead and click into that, and you'll see once it loads. Man, it's taking a while. Um, you'll see my installs. We've got our forum, we've got our WordPress, we've got a few other things going on on the background those demos for the most part but here's a whole list of scripts that are out there uh, you got backups blogs business tools etc we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go to WordPress and you can see popular you know it's a free platform that you guys can do and actually just click WordPress loads up uh, basically the install stuff but WordPress support options again you've got a whole slew of different support official sites documentations um, donate, uh, always donating to the companies that give us free stuff are always great, you know. So if you want to support WordPress, if you want to support people that uh, that do that, go ahead. Um, but it's as simple as just clicking the install right here. And so we're gonna go ahead and launch a new WordPress. Um, click load, take a little bit of here. Um, you can click uh, older versions. You can see if they're stable. It looks like most of them are. Plus Jetpack. Jetpack's a nice little feature that uh, allows you to track different stuff, implement uh, Twitter, comments, all the different stuff um, in a more fashionable sense. Um, where would you like WordPress installed? So let's say we want a mybringback.com slash blog. And that's all we're going to put on that, uh, that install. So you can see it gives you the server path, the access URL. Um, and that's pretty much all you need for that install there. The advanced options, you can click here to display. Give your site a name. You can also create a uh, username and password in here. Otherwise, it's just going to generate a random random uh, username and password and send it to your email. And then uh, make sure that it's automatically creating a database. This keeps everything kind of on the side um, and secluded in nice folders and set up. So. After you've done kind of the advanced option, giving your giving your name a site, my bring back blog, read the agreements, the licensing agreements, and click complete. Now after you click complete, you're gonna get one more confirmation. You know, here's my bring back dot com slash blog, and bada bing bada boom. So you can see right here we got the site URL. So if we go to mybringback.com slash blog, it's got the basic format of WordPress um, launched within a minute. I mean, you're talking, you've already got a site on your hands. So kind of cool, it's coming together. Um, then notable, we've also got the login URL. And this is where it happens. This is where you modify stuff. You can you can tweak stuff. So let me just uh, give you a sneak peek of this. Uh, we got a username, password. We're gonna go ahead and take that. Login behind the scenes. 
Oh, this is getting crazy. And as it takes a moment, and there you go. That's the back end of your uh, of your website slash blog. So that's the easy way. Again, like I said, we're gonna go through uh, the manual way of of basically putting the scripts of WordPress into your site. A little bit more difficult if your hosting site doesn't have a simple scripts or a, uh, basically a, an implementation as simple as that. Um, we'll teach you the manual way. Um, but again. Look at the look at the hosting packages that we recommend. Those hosting packages have the easy to implement, um, simple scripts and and the different things that uh, you can put in. Um, again, got some coupons on my site for the hosting, and uh, hope you guys subscribe to see the next video. And we'll take a look at uh, the future of uh, your website. I'm pretty pretty pumped for you guys. All right, we'll uh, talk to you guys later.